Cascader 2025.2 is here with major upgrades. The AI in-betweening tool is faster, works with more frames, and offers new motion styles. Plus, explore automatic fulcrum detection for cleaner footwork, trajectory editing, and seamless animation transitions. AI in-betweening now works faster and with more frames than ever before. But speed isn't the only upgrade, it's become much more context-aware. They added a new tab where you can choose the style of animation you want to generate. Need a character to walk? Perform a combat maneuver? The AI will now generate an animation that matches the style you selected. It's less generic and more intentional right out of the gate. Now for one of the biggest workflow game changers, more precise fulcrum point detection. The new AI system accurately detects fulcrum points, which means no more foot sliding and no more unsightly knee pops. This is incredibly useful for mocap cleanup and for when you want to apply auto physics straight away without having to unbake the animation. The AI detects those crucial anchor points for you even if the feet slide a bit. Inbetweening has also become much better at combining multiple animations together. Since it now recognizes the velocities, it can generate seamless, context-aware transitions between different animations. This completely eliminates the need for manual cleanup when blending clips. And for you animators who love granular control, they added a new tool that allows you to edit trajectories using tangents right in the viewport. This is just the first version of this tool, but it's already a huge step up for fine-tuning your motion. Plus, the visual mocap feature has been improved to better recognize depth and the ground plane, giving you cleaner results from the start. With version 2025 Twin, Cascador from Neki introduces motion style presets for its AI-driven in-betweening tool. Animators can now set the motion tide between two poses, walk, run, crawl, jump, fall, acrobatic, or combat. The new style selector appears in the in-betweening panel, producing less generic and more context-aware in-betweens. This means less time wrestling generic curves and more time for real animation work. 